Welcome back. The voters seem to have one thing on their mind this year above all else, jobs. You know, Senator Cogdell, some have argued that companies are fleeing California, but according to the Public Policy Institute of California, uh, California loses very few jobs to other states. What they say is about one half of one percent of California's jobs are lost to business relocation. And as a result, the PPIC asserts that business relocations, although highly visible, may be a misleading guide to the overall performance of California's economy. So with that, uh, is there a reason to be a little bit more optimistic about the state's economy? Are we in better shape than we might think? Well, I don't know if we're in better shape than we, we might think or some may think. Um, I think we all are well aware, again, of the unemployment rate that we are suffering that is historic uh, as it relates to how high it is and certainly, again, what we're seeing directly uh, in the valley. So whether they're relocating or they're just cutting back or we're not uh, establishing new business and industry in this state, the results are the same. People uh, aren't working at the level that they need to be in order to provide the kind of economy that not only benefits us all on an individual basis, but certainly provides the revenues uh, on an ongoing basis for the state of California to meet the needs of this state. Do you um, feel good going forward here? I mean, do you see uh, light at the end of the tunnel? Well, I think we've got a ways to go, quite frankly. Um, I don't think we're there yet. I think it may be another two or three years, uh, and that may be optimistic depending on who you, you talk to. But again, I think it's about getting the state competitive again. Uh, both on the national and international stage so that we can get people back to work. You know, one thing, uh, something about Arambula that people talk about are green jobs. And they think that it could be touted as the next boom industry, perhaps even here in the Valley. What is the potential for green jobs here in the Valley? Well, I think we have some significant potential to uh, create uh, green jobs. And they're, they're not just what we think of in terms of uh, solar panels. So um, can you define what green jobs are? <laughs> Well, it's really about conserving uh, resources, conserving uh, energy. Uh, for example, uh, the Water uh, Institute at Fresno State is looking at how best to run pumps, uh, how to pull up the water, how to use the water in a way that uh, uses less of it and gets to where it's uh, supposed to be for, for maximum benefit. Some farmers are saying they're growing twice as much product with half as much water. That's green technology. Uh, saving electricity uh, is part of uh, green technology. B but I hope we don't just do the installation of solar panels in the, in the San Joaquin Valley. I mean, we have tremendous potential for solar farms. But I hope we actually have manufacturing plants that manufacture the solar panels. I hope our universities, Fresno State, uh, Bakersfield, and uh, Merced, start getting into research and development for even m uh, newer products. You know, that's interesting because manufacturing is only 9% of California's employment, and it's been going down for decades. That would be an interesting way to kind of bring manufacturing back to California. You know, another project that's kind of considered a green project is high-speed rail. I know, Congressman Costa, you've been a longtime <laughs> champion of high-speed rail. It's been touted not just as a transportation measure, but also as a jobs project for the Valley. However, uh, Congressman Devin Nunes recently called it a, quote, high-speed train wreck. Why is high-speed rail a good idea for the Valley? Well, I think it's a good uh, idea for the entire state of California. I mean, you see uh, uh, countries throughout Asia and Europe that are building thousands of miles of network of high-speed rail. Uh, and uh, they're doing so because it's a more cost-effective way of moving folks within 100 to 400 miles in distance. If you go less than 400 miles, you're going to drive your car. If you go more than uh, less than 100 miles, if you go more than 400 miles, you're going to take an airplane. Um, yeah. But the sweet spot here in California, with our population density today and what our population density is going to be in 2030 and 2050, uh, really suits it quite well. What does it mean for the valley specifically? I know there's been some money that's come in for the valley yeah. uh, that you've had some uh, influence on, but how much money are we talking about? Um, what does it mean? Well, as much as $4 billion. That's a lot of money. And uh, it uh, has the potential to connect Bakersfield, Fresno to, to Merced. And isn't the first segment going to be in the valley? Right. And because we're the furthest along, and this is where you can get more cost-effective mile per construction dollar uh, to take place. But what it means to the valley is, for instance, getting in a train in Fresno and being in downtown San Francisco in 55 minutes being in a train in Fresno and being in downtown Los Angeles in an hour and a half. Uh, connecting our valley's economy to the two major economic centers of California, which is Southern California and the Bay Area, Silicon Valley and all of that. Mm -hmm. What it does is, is reduce our, our traffic on 99 and uh, improves air quality. It um, has the ability to put uh, the development and the, and the assembling and manufacturing of these high-speed uh, rail sets 
here in California. And the maintenance facilities as well. Right. It's 135,000 jobs to the valley alone, we believe. Okay. Well, when we come back, we're going to talk about an issue closely associated with jobs in the valley, water. That conversation in a moment. This is the Maddie Report.